Like many triad families, it has been a hectic and stressful time in the pain home. We've wow. been homeschooling. The kitchen table has turned into a free-for-all. While the kids worry about good grades, Michelle has more immediate concerns paying the rent. They were kind of, you know, like, uh, when is the money going to come? It's almost time to, for us to evict you. Michelle and her kids living in the apartment for five years, never missing a payment until recently. Sometimes we're late, but we got it paid all in one month late fees and everything. The pandemic changing all that. Michelle having her hours cut. There isn't enough money coming in, sending us this email. I wasn't fearful, but I was kind of anxious. And I was like, uh, can you all please help me? Michelle signing up for financial relief through the HOPE program. Eventually approved, but a backlog of cases had her landlord talking eviction. That feeling is like, I failed, and I didn't want to fail my children. The HOPE program helping thousands of families stay in their homes, but with so many people, it takes time. I want people to know that my team and the team of HOPE specialists, because that's what they're called, are working as fast as they possibly can. That's where we came in, reaching out to someone at both the HOPE program and the apartment complex, a manager calling Michelle. She told me, she said, I have great news for you. This is my landlord, and she's like, the lady called me from the HOPE program and said that they were going to take care of everything. Within a few weeks, a check was sent to the complex, about 500 in utilities also covered. And I was like, thank you, News 2. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, News 2. Michelle is now back working full time. Her rent paid on time. That little sprinkle of hope that you put in everybody's lives, just keep doing it. One issue resolved. Michelle can now focus on more elementary problems like fifth grade history and seventh grade math. Kevin Kennedy, two wants to know.